think by uh, providing a mix of uh, activities, we include a lot of people. And also we meet uh, different preferences for learning styles, because we also think that you can learn design by doing and by looking also at each other's work. I think they are quite active, so actually we were surprised this year. We were really happy to see so many people uh, uh, jo joining the discussion, also introducing themselves our, on our world map. Um, this idea we try to, uh, to make things really more interactive, really more interesting also in the variation, providing a variation in the type of exercises. I think this is really important for the motivation of the students actually. Uh, yeah, we try to, to really engage the student into the course by, um, well, there's actually various ways. We try to motivate them, first of all, by using uh, a lot of contextual problems, problems from practice, just to show them that it's not just bare mathematics, it's really good for, the, for your, engineering, uh, your, your engineering study that you will, uh, will get into. Uh, so, so I think that's really important, providing the context. The context. Also the interactive exercises um, and also the variation in types of exercises. The biggest success of this course, I think, is that professionals bring in their own problems from their own companies uh, to one case and students can work also in that case. Uh, for students it is really motivating because they work on real life problems, but also for the professionals uh, this is good uh, because the students get um, new ideas uh, for their problems and it's really a win-win situation for both groups. Um, yeah, we, we follow every week what everyone is doing. We can see it on, on, in the online learning environment um, what everyone has done. Another special thing about the course was that since we provided the source code and since we had a lot of simulations, since we produced all of the contents on the fly essentially, we could uh, have the students grab all the materials and modify anything they would like. So uh, as a general thing for, for online education, I think being able to disassemble what you see and, uh, and see how it's been done uh, it is quite a lot of added value. It's partly science and partly an art. The science part is the first, the lecture yeah. that I do, the teaching, the theory that I give yeah. you. The art is that you then have to work with that, and that is much more difficult because all of a sudden there's nobody telling you what steps A, B, and C are, and you've got to figure out which alphabet to use and what the order is. They are active, they're busy with the problem. That's the good way. They're not only listening in a passive way, and they can do it at home, by the way. So in our glass plate example, for example, the, we, we show them a little bit the way we are thinking uh, on a problem. So we work out a complete problem in the way we think that's the best way to do it. Uh, start with the sketch and then work it out. Um, I have a, a personal teaching style and it's very difficult for me to accommodate mm. to various styles of students. And with yeah. these age, you, you get a more open discussion, yeah. you get a more open way of trying and, and letting the student be active, whether he first wants to try and make a model or that she first wants to yeah. click yeah. and see what the animation does. It's up to the student and that's really very individual. And that's very tough if you do that as a teacher. Because you automatically go to how you teach. I think thinking about online learning also improves your own education. It improves your own... Uh, yeah, because you are rethinking everything. How you present it, what are the clues, what are really the learning objectives, what I want to teach. Because in a small movie you have to do it in five or ten minutes. And then you have to, certainly the right things you have to put in it. And that's I think the strength of, uh, of thinking and rethinking your own and, material. And you're forced to think about your educational style. Because sure. students cannot react on the spot. If they react they do it on, on a forum. And, and those are... You know, in, in a kind of a waiting queue before I can respond. Yeah. And that means that my message should be more clear, um, should have less traps where they can be trapped. Uh, if they, they re, that, that's an advantage, they can re-read or re-see the material, mm -hmm. but they should yeah. not stop at exactly the same trap. It, it should somehow help them to move on with all the material that we have. Yeah, absolutely. And we liked it. We had a yeah. lot of fun making it. <laughs> That's the most important thing, I think. <laughs>